so I'm going to share a little bit about what happened at Kaaba Box Church recently. Every time we go out, it's so different. So you just don't know what to expect, but it's always amazing. This is what happened recently. We had quite an encounter. There was a man who came by Kaaba Box Church and we had seen him before. We prayed for him before. And what happened was we usually set up Cabo Box Church on Trade Street, but there was construction. So we set it up on outside the public library in Uptown Charlotte. And the same guy comes by and he wants prayer again. And we're seeing that this time he needs uh, to get some correction. And we're, we are telling him about the power of his tongue and how he needs to be accountable of what he's saying and Tom is also giving him some scripture about the accountability that he bears and this man he suddenly gets so upset and so angry and it was though um, he lost control and then he starts winding up his arm as though he's gonna punch Tom out and it was very dramatic let me tell you that but somehow we were not afraid at all I just felt like the Lord was taking care of it. And sure enough, there was a man watching nearby. He was, like, he was like 20 meters away. And he was a Muslim man. He jumps in with great zeal and he drives this man away from us and he would not allow him to attack us. And it was really amazing because I could see how the Lord wanted to keep us uh, completely disengaged from the situation and he brought someone outside to deal with it and he was a muslim man and he came to help us it was amazing so after that uh the police came by and the muslim man he went and told them about the attack and what had transpired and the police are like um they understand what's going on and then they find out that you know, they, this police who comes by, he happens to know more about the ordinances of the city. And he explains to us that actually, we're not supposed to be putting up structures on the street. So we can freely share what we want to share. And there are permits if you want to do it with, um, with some sound equipment. But he told us you can't put up structures. So we're like, wow, it's one thing after another today, but it turned out to be an amazing thing because those policemen, they really were trying to help us. They were on our side, but they had to do their job. So we found out we just had to go to the right authorities who deal with um, allotting spaces to people like us, ministries as well. And they gave us a great location that we can set up. So we're engaging with them and we're doing it the right way. So if you are setting up Combo Box Church, wherever you are, we just want to share this. Find out the rules and regulations in your city or town and uh, make sure you follow that. You know, we even had Fox News contact us that day. <laughs> they got a hold of me via email. They wanted to interview us and we declined the interview because we said the police were trying to help us. They were not inhibiting our freedom of speech. They were just giving us information that was valuable and that we needed. And the Lord used it for good and it turned out to be an amazing day. Uh, we were actually grateful that the police came by and told us about these ordinances. Now, in the past, we've done Carnival Box Church for a close to a year now, and the, many police officers have seen it throughout America and many times in Charlotte, and they've never said anything. They didn't uh, think we were breaking any rules, but this, these two police officers knew ordinances more in depth. And it's just interesting that, that this happened because... Uh, it, Carbo Box Church is in the process right now of becoming a legal church entity. And so we went over to the, to the, the specific office building that the police officers told us about to get proper permits. And, and we sat and had a latte. And then after that, I said, oh, well, let's go now and go over to that office building to see this lady. And we didn't have an appointment to see her. But as we were walking into the building, a 16 floor building, I saw this lady walking in with another guy, couple guys, and I said, that's the lady we're looking for. I said it to myself. And then when we got into the elevator with them, I, I started a conversation and said we were going to look for this person. And she goes, that's me. And I, and I knew it was her. I said, I knew it was you. So she goes, now, you don't have an appointment with me. And I was like, I know. But she said, I'll talk to you right here in the elevator as we're going up to the floor. And so we actually got done with what we needed to get done to do it legally. So we're going to have a spot right in downtown Charlotte where it's legal and it just coincides with
Cobble Box Church actually becoming a legal church entity. And with the person that was violent, I've had a number of people being violent to me over the years. And this guy was incredible. Like, he started manifesting. After he was rejecting the correction found in Scripture, and I wasn't, I don't beat people over the head with correction. Correction is meant to bring a believer to maturity, and it's also meant to expose, all right? And, uh, and so, sure enough, it exposed this guy. He was... He was quoting scripture back to me like he knew scripture, but he was quoting scripture just to justify his position and rejecting mine. And so I just said to him, what is it you want from me? All right, because I saw that it was an impasse. And at that point, he just started manifesting and flew into a rage and started like cocking his arm like he was going to punch me. And I was like, and I, I wasn't scared. I said, give me your best shot. That's it. To, that, that, this far apart from each other, face to face, I said, give me your best shot. And now, I wasn't provoking him. I was just making it clear that I am not afraid of anybody. I have no fear of man. I had no intention of striking him back. If he struck me, I would have just taken it and not struck him back. And then he pro if he did, he probably would have regretted it and ran away or whatever. And, uh, and, but like uh, either the Holy Spirit would have caused it to that punch to not do anything to me, or it would have hurt, and I just would have recovered from it. That's all. And so... Anyway, this situation you're going to see is a, a combination of four different healing situations. The first one is with a man named Spears that happened previously at Carbo Box Church where we were setting up normally. And he came by, he was like, he was messed up on drugs. And I really feel for this man because I can tell that he believes in God, but he has just, he's just destroying himself. And so we're trying to get him to the point where he, he'll stop destroying himself, that he'll believe that he's worthwhile. And so the first situation is ministering deliverance to him. And you can see how he's all strung out. And, uh, but he came by for, for prayer. We didn't stop him. He came by, he saw the Cobble Walk Church and asked for prayer because he wasn't feeling well. And then uh, so, uh, each one of the four situations is edited a little bit uh, for, for the sake of brevity, not to cut out us praying for long lengths of time. Like I'm not editing out me praying or Hava praying four or five or six times for people. This is not the way I operate. I'll pray once for somebody. Like there's, there's different ways in which I'll pray. Like I'll pray for a long time for somebody where I know that things need to change here. Like when, when something doesn't need to change here and the person's ready to receive, it's just boom, a quick tap and they're healed. If it's if it because it's superficial if something is deeper and thinking needs to change then I lay hands for a while and I'll speak and talk over things and then uh, and then go from there but and, and then so so, so cer certain situations are like that and so like I'm not editing for the sake of cutting out me attempting to get these people healed with four or five six prayers I pray and in most cases I'll pray once and then I'll start talking about Jesus and then other things and then sometimes I cut out stuff that I'll say that I'll say that I think I said wrong and I cut it out because some people will listen to the videos and say that's not biblical when in, when in reality I was making a valid point it just came out wrong and so like rather than say something that sounds confusing I cut it out for that reason so there are edits but but you'll see each of these four situations the value in each of those situations and the response, the reaction of the person getting healed, and things that are important to watch. And so it's just in educationals, like street healing videos, it's it's good to see this demonstration, but they're also educational, and also the, heal, the teaching videos are very important also. So this video is really like a combination of a teaching video and demonstration. So I really hope it encourages and edifies you guys, and uh, just keep on watching because there's another video coming up Surely also, maybe in like three or four days, it's a teaching video in front of Carver Box Church uh, that we'll be doing on Sunday. We're going to be doing Carver Box Church in Charlotte on Sunday morning, just like regular church time, because Carver Box Church is church. When I first started doing it, I was calling it an outreach ministry, and the Lord spoke to me and said, stop calling that an outreach ministry, call that church, and you're the pastor of Car Carver Box Church. And so... That's what we're doing. But this is real church right here. So we thank you for supporting Carbo Box Church. We're so grateful. I'm called into full-time ministry with my wife. And so we're very grateful for the support you guys give us. We'll be continuing to put out quality video that helps encourage and teach and train. 
and, and everything good for the believer. So that the kingdom continues to move forward in power, just like 1 Corinthians 4.20, the, the kingdom is not in word, but in power. Amen. Awesome. I renounce crack. I renounce crack. I renounce weed. I renounce every other drug I've done. I, I don't want it in my life. I don't want it in my life. So Jesus help me. So Jesus help me. Amen. So Amen. now get out. Every unclean spirit, get out. You spirits of witchcraft and sorcery, get out. Get out of him right now. Get out of spirits. You feel something going on with it? When I tap your stomach, you feel something going on? So get out. Get out. Every unclean spirit, get out of spirits. Every unclean spirit, get out of him. Witchcraft and sorcery, out. He confesses faith in Christ. He renounces you. Out. You feel something? You feel like a war going on there? Work, get out every demon, get out every demon, every out demon. every demon, out witchcraft and sorcery, out drug use, out, out. in Jesus' name. You can't have spirits, out of get out of him, out get of out of him. him. You can't have him. Every demon, out rage and anger, out rage and anger, out in Jesus' name. What's going on, spirits? You're feeling a lot of fire, sick, sick. That's good. And 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 I feel like, did you ever have problems, physical problems with your stomach? Yeah. Yeah. I'm diabetic. My legs hurt. Diabetes get out my also. Foot, my foot hurt. I don't want diabetes. You spotted spirit of diabetes out. Spirit of diabetes out. Oh, so I'm hungry. Out, out, out. I ain't no so Get out. Every Let's demon see. out. Okay. Every demon out. Out. It's tough. Yeah, there's something going on. I feel movement in your stomach. Wow. Get out. Yes. I feel movement in my hand. There's something Every moving under my spirit, hand. Well, you get out. out. Get out. Witchcraft out. Lose your whole Drug hand. use out. Get off him. Get out. Pornography out. Off Murder him. out. Robbery out. Suicide out. out. Suicide out. In Jesus' name. Depression out. Every demon out. Every demon out. Anger out. 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 Every demon out. Anger out. Rage Every out. In Jesus' name. Out. out. Okay. Every Let demon go. out. What's going on with that, Spears? Are they getting upset? Are they getting mad? Every, uh, all pain go, all pain go, every demon out of him, yes. every, every demon out of him, out every, of demon him out of him. every demon out of him, out every of demon out of him, every demon out, every demon out, every demon out, every demon out of him, up and out of him, up and out of him, up and out of him, Jesus is Lord. Yeah. I praise you, man, thank you, God, man, I'm oh, you got the fire spirit on there now. Yeah, what's, you got, what was you, that? You got the Holy Spirit right now. You I'm felt it? I felt your heat. Yeah. I felt your heat, man. Because the Lord, the Lord wants to work with you. He wants to change your life, spirits. He wants you to know your identity in Christ, to know that He hasn't given up on you. That there's there's Not a plan. Today. There's a plan God. for your life, bro. You know, I want to get married again. Second yeah. time around. Okay. But I gotta get a haircut, my tooth hurt. There's okay. a lot of things you got to get in order like first. One day at a time, one because day you time. can't you can't now, have yo, a spouse but other hands. things but everything's that are not in order. I can bro. tell you your hands are clean. You you got Holy Spirit, you blessed. Your Thank hands you. are hot. I can feel the it, fire. Right. I can feel the fire in your hands right now. And that's the Lord. It's because because I know that we have to walk in holiness. Yeah. And we have to believe the word of God. Okay. And your whole hand is usually in pain? Yeah, because you see I got cuts all over. So you cut your hand a lot. Yeah. Come against that spirit that's causing him to cut his hand a lot. Yes, too. so I come against every spirit that's causing you to injure yourself. Uh, be gone right now and all pain you will leave him now in Jesus' name. I cover this hand with the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach be healed. Amen. And favor for your job also. Give him favor Lord since he just got into town. So give him favor. Give him words in his mouth and, and, and give him ears to hear what people are saying so that wherever he works they see the the great benefit of him to yes. that to that team in Jesus name. Yes, because you have so much integrity there's a goodness in you. Yes. So Lord open the eyes to see this goodness that you placed in him and bless him Lord. How's I your like, hand feel? I like this guy too. How's That's your like, hand feel? Man, it actually doesn't hurt as much. Yeah? But so, it, is it pain gone from there? From here, yeah. But yeah, it's all here. gone? That's all gone? Doesn't hurt as much anymore now. Is it? Yeah, so it's a little it. sore still? Mm -hmm. No, it's all gone. Doesn't hurt anymore. Right, don't hurt anymore. There you go, right. Man, and, and what about, uh, God bless you, brother. Uh, Feels amen. good? Yeah, it actually awesome. does. <laughs> yeah, amen. You can still put a new band-aid on there, actually, you know, just to keep that that's uh, not totally closed. Uh, no, right? I'm going to go to my job get another one. Yeah, get another one. You get there, right. But this yeah, way you can get some bad. air to it right now. Yeah, that's exactly what it needs. Amen. It doesn't hurt when I've been in it anymore, I can tell you that. Glory. So it actually oh. feels good. Because nice. when I was bending Lord. it yesterday, it actually stung. Yeah. So, Amen. that actually feels good. <laughs> Where's the screws in the plates? In my ankle. In, in this ankle where the surgery is? Okay, so Lord Jesus, I thank you for restoring Keanu. He believes in you, restoring completely 
All, all soreness from surgery go and plates and screws dissolve completely. You're not needed. Jesus is Lord and Keon belongs to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now move your ankle around. Tell me how that feels. Feels good. Feels better? Take a few steps, Keon. <laughs> and how does that feel? Feels better. Feels better? Do you, can you tell if you can you feel with your hand to feel the screws in the screws in the place? Whatever. Tell me if it feels different there. Feels softer. Yeah. Feels softer, like as if normally you'd feel metal there. Metal a little bit harder. I said, isn't that a bro? That's amazing. Yeah. So do that again. Tell yeah, me because if, right. if there's no plates or screws here, that's incredible. I feel it feels a little bit normal. It feels normal like there's no plates here? Yeah. Feels odd. <laughs> that's like bro, isn't that? That's, that if it's true, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you did because say it, that you believe that anything is nah, possible. Anything for is God. possible. Yeah. For God. You said that. It normally it would feel like firmer, like there's metal, like you're feeling metal. metal. Harder. It, and it's about the rain, so you know, it starts to act up a little bit. But it feels great right now, yeah, you're saying. It feels good. That's amazing. Now what was we need to pray that I get this job. Yes. Out of my, All right. My yes. Lord, let's do that. I believe your favor is on Keon. Mm -hmm. Amazingly so. He believes in you, Lord Jesus. He's a peace-loving man. Yes. So favor to you in Jesus' name. You will get that job. Yes, so we put agree. your words in his we mouth. Agree. Give them ears to hear. To recognize. Help them to understand, Lord, that they're gaining somebody that is going to be a great asset to the yes. team there. They may not even realize it, but supernaturally to mean so that they recognize how much of an asset he will be, Father, in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's coming to you, bro. You know, when, when Tom said team, I heard that you will watch out for the team. You have this yeah. ability that the Lord has given you that you see everyone's strengths, weaknesses, and you want to see justice. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. the strength the Lord has given you to be a leader. And He's going to raise you up to even have even more wisdom and more into, and more of Him, more of the kingdom in you because He really wants to exalt you in this position. <laughs>